Well, as you can well imagine, it's been a day full of anxiety, sadness, and grief among students, UCC staff, and family members. This morning, the true extent of the threat wasn't really known, so those still on campus were evacuated to a nearby site, the Douglas County Fairgrounds. Some families waiting to hear from their loved ones seemed like it was a whole eternity. NBC5's Matt Jordan was at the fairgrounds and spoke to the students and their families alike. He's back in the newsroom tonight with more. Matt. Well, Art, it was extremely hard for everyone involved, but as bus after bus arrived, more and more people found themselves in the arms of, arms of loved ones after evacuating the college. Grief counselors and Red Cross volunteers were on hand to help the families and friends of UCC students, faculty, and staff as they arrived at the safe zone. That's just a few miles away from the campus. For many, that moment when they stepped off the bus to see a friendly face was an overwhelming one. I was so happy to just see her finally because this is never an experience that anybody should have to go through and it's, I'm just happy that she was here. Reach out to family, reach out to friends, reach out to, to people because there's a lot of people out there um, who can help. And our, among those evacuated included young children from a nearby daycare. And one of the hardest parts of being out there today was seeing those final few buses arrive and several family members still waiting to hear anything from their loved ones. The Red Cross and local therapy groups will be on hand for anyone who needs help counseling, grief counseling after the shooting. Live in the Medford Newsroom, Matt Jordan, NBC5 News.